Okay, so today is May 16, 2022. It is a Monday. Yeah, it's Monday. And I just want to... Well, it's also day 301 of web development. But um, I just wanted to kind of go over this. So recently I started um, kind of working with videos on websites. And I, and I did a little bit of this at school because I was trying to get this done before I got home because I have other things to do. But it didn't turn out well. Um, my plan was to have something like I did in day, uh, let's look at day 297, where if I were to open this real quick, um, you would hover over, hold on, you would hover over the images and you would see um, an overlay and then you would, um, an add to cart text would pop up. And so what I wanted to do was to have an image and then instead of an overlay, it would be like, it would still be an overlay of this color and it would still have a text, but it would be a video instead. So the image would change to a video. And what I found most troubling with videos is the fact that I actually have to add a video tag in my HTML, where as if I wanted to add an image, all I had to do was create whatever div I wanted here. Like, let's say I wanted to just have... Um, this class card be an image itself i don't have to put um an image tag although i can all i have to do is put background colon and then url and then add the image just like i did right here um so for card three you can see the image right but i can't seem there's not an equivalent to that for a video like i feel like in every um, source code, I see that they have the video tag here, which I think is really, really saddening because I can't use the same properties like background position or background size. Um, and even when I try object fit, it doesn't work. And so when what I have right now, um, I have three images. So it's looking like this. So this is what it's looking like. I have three images. I have a container. Um, in the container, have three cards that has three images inside, background images. And then when I hover over each card, this video is supposed to pop up. But the video, I'm telling it to have, um, if I go back to my HTML, um, I tell the video to have a width of 100% so that it takes up right 100% width of that card. Um, but if I add, you would think that if you add a height 100%, it would also take up the same height. But it is, though, you can see that it is, but it's not all the way up. And I don't understand why. Um, so this is as close as I've gotten to actually getting this right, but it's off. And it's definitely not responsive. So when I scroll down, like if you can see in the code pen, it's still the width 100%, but then the height is definitely not responsive. Um, so it's a little, I'm a little confused. I don't know what to do. Um, I don't know how to work with this. Um, but yeah, I just want, I just wanted to kind of log that because I don't have, um, successful days like every day. And this is one of those days that it's just not successful and I'm just very confused, but I like seeing, um, I like seeing, you know, progress so i like seeing you know when i struggled and then how i come back from that so i just wanted to log this and see where god takes me after this hopefully we figure this out because i got to figure this out because uh, yeah like hello um so i'm gonna try actually really quickly maybe if i can go to the video i'm just really not sure like i don't know how to work maybe i should have watched a tutorial um so right now I have visible visibility hidden right so i have visibility visible right when i hover over the video so the visibility of the video becomes visible so that's what i have so far maybe if i have position let's say position relative but then i want it to be relative to the nearest positioned element which should be the card so i'm going to go back up here um i'm going to go over here so position to the card relative to the card and then maybe from the top it wouldn't make sense maybe like 100 pixels i just need it to be right something like that so if i were to reload it see now it's not even you're right it's not even 100 percent of the um of the height it's not even mm, that sucks well i guess we could do like let's say 70 pixels and then i could change no let me do 90 I want it upwards. 
okay right there and then what I could do is I can change the height of the cart but like maybe 70 and then see how that goes we could do 50 if that's not working out oh my god that is so irritating because look now that the size is changing as I shrink the thing and that is so irritating it's working over here and over here but why not here see how weird that is and then so maybe we can do the video to be what um give it a height of 95 percent like i don't know what more this thing wants from me honestly what like i'm just really <laughs> confused right now um so yeah i'm just gonna leave it like this this is a problem that i'm gonna have to fix but i kind of want to save it as it is because i want a reference to this problem um this probably has to do with the html oh yeah because i didn't okay I didn't change it over here either where's the video Oh, it's because I don't have a height. Oh, so if I take off the height, save that, then it becomes how it's supposed to become. Yeah, okay. So this is, okay, we're getting kind of closer, but I just, it's still not what I want. And also, like, how do you even create an overlay over the video? Like, do I have to use Z index? Like, I'm just so confused. And it's not even... It's going outside of the card. I don't know. Um, maybe if I... I don't know. Maybe if I make the card size a little bit bigger. Like I had it, like 270. I don't know. It's still upwards. Like I can't... Why? Oh, it's because I have position top. So let's do 80 and then leave this as it was actually. Hold on, let me do control Z. And then leave this as 80. Um, that sucks. Okay, well then maybe we can do 260. It's like playing. Okay, so yeah, this is what I wanted. But now the problem is if I shrink it, it's still so bad so i feel like i would have to use media queries to kind of account for the change i'll have to like manually change the si the height of the card as the screen size the screen width decreases um because other than that i have no idea how to get the same effect so i got the effect okay that worked um so what i did was i gave it position relative to the card so relative to the card from the top, I went negative 80 pixels because for some reason, the car, the the video was like 80 pixels below the top of the card, which is, if you were, if you hold on, if you were to look at, let's say card, um, real quick, I'm gonna do border, top, red, solid, five pixels. That's the top of the card, right? And so for some reason, the video was if i take it away you'll see hold on it was like 80 pixels it's right here right it, it's 80 pixels from the top right of the card so what i had to do is i had to give it position relative to the card and then from the top negative 80 pixels or you could just say um the same thing would be from the bottom from the bottom 80 pixels so 80 pixels from the bottom so you're going basically 80 pixels upwards and from the top is the same thing going 80 pixels upwards because you're saying from the top negative 80 pixels so basically do the opposite but this would make some more sense like from the bottom 80 pixels so go from the bottom upwards 80 pixels but i always just like to use top and right and then just use negatives because it's the same thing whatever anyway um but see when you have it over here in codepen it just doesn't work so i don't know maybe i just need to get better at responsive web design because at this point this is what i have now what did i do um negative 80 pixels it's because i have this over here 
Let me save this, reload this. Okay, so we have that. Okay, one second. All right, where were we? Okay, well, yeah, we kind of fixed the problem, but not really. I mean, we fixed it for this type of screen size, but if we shrink it, it doesn't work. It's not responsive, which is the issue. But we can fix that with media queries if I just um, change the card size. But I, it's still, it's still like not giving right now. Um, and then I guess I could finish. I guess, I guess I could finish, you know. Um, so the card itself, maybe we can give it a display of flex to get that um, heading one in the middle by doing justify um, content center to align that horizontally and then align items center to align that vertically. What is going on? Because I would love to know why. Okay, there must be something wrong with my HTML because how is it that it's going outside of the card? Like I'm so confused. Card, right? Card one. And then where is this div here? Right, so what is the issue? Source, video, out of play. What is going on? Like actually, doc type HTML, there's class container, container, card three. I'm just really confused. What is why is it doing this? Should I just like start this over because I'm really, oh my God, what just happened? You know, this is an actual mess. I feel like starting this over right now. Okay, um, I don't have time for this, but I think I am gonna start this over. So I'm going to go ahead and just fork this right here and Let's do, I should have named it part one instead. Okay, I'm just gonna delete all the CSS and I'm going to delete all of the HTML and we're gonna start again because I kid you not, this is insane. Where, what, where, where is it getting these from? Go out, okay. So I'll start by saying doc type to, special, to specify that we're using um, HTML5. Put in my HTML tags, um, go and put in my body tags because I don't put head because I'm just practicing. So in the head we're going to do a div and we're going to give it, um, uh, we're going to label it container by giving it a class called container. And to visualize what that looks like, I'm going to go and put the container, I'm going to give it a border, 5 pixels, black, solid, and I'm going to give it a height for now of 100 vertical height of the screen, not 10, 100. And then in the container, I'm going to have um, three cards. So I'm going to give it a class card, and each card I'm going to give it an ID card one so I can target them individually if I have to. So I'll go ahead and do that. And here's the one. So just so you can see, for each card, I'm going to give it a border, five pixels, a red solid. Okay, and then I'm just going to copy this times and then just change the IDs and then you'll see three cards there they don't have a height currently so that they can be next to each other I'm gonna give the container a display of grid and I'm gonna do grid template columns and I'm gonna do repeat three times one FR so it repeats like three columns basically that are equally sized and I'll do a grid gap of let's say 1 EM so that there's space between each grid and then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it no, 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 no. The card itself, I'm going to give it a height. Um, what do we say? 260 pixels, maybe? Maybe not? Maybe yes? I don't know. Um, and then I think that's what we have so far. And then, so for each card, I'm going to do card one. I'm going to give it a background URL. And instead, I'm now, I had those pictures because I used Bing because Unsplash is blocked at school for some odd reason. So now that we're in Unsplash, I'm just going to go ahead and pick actual good pictures. Um, okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Nature, experimental. Maybe we could do nature. Oh, I always do nature though. Oh my God. I love the water. That's so beautiful. Oh my God. I can do a water and then I could do a video of the water. That's insane. Well, okay. Copy image address. Um, so put that in here. I'll give it a background size of cover. 
and so we can kind of see it right and then what I'll do is um, I'll do the same thing whoops for card two and I'll do the same thing for card three and we're selecting IDs by doing the hashtag if it was a class we would do adopt um, so again background background and then URL see I wish there was a background and then SRS right for a video but apparently not I don't know um, okay let's pick another one okay I guess we could do like water copy image address put that in right here and just give it background position a background size cover excuse me and then let's pick another one why can't I see others oh that's really nice um, I think I'm gonna go with this one it would be good if I had a video and then I just took a screenshot of the video and then placed it as actual images okay so this one is background whoops background URL put that in there background size cover um all right so that's what we have so far really quickly so that it's responsive i'm going to add a media query so media um when the max the math wicks or when it with really wicks what when it reaches like a thousand pixels i need the container to switch its columns to one to two columns so one fr one fr so that's the same thing as repeat two times one fr okay so now we see that and then you see that the um container is not reaching down so at this point we can say the container can have a height of mint content and it'll reach down all the way to fit all three cards all right um at this point um, i'm going to go back to the html and inside each card i'm going to give like an h1 of let's say um what do, what do we should do what, what did we say i don't know what do we say um i know we could say like visit maybe i'll do like visit and then i'll put that in here as well and i'll put that in here as well um and then you can clearly see that there's a visit so for each card now i'm gonna go card h1 i'm gonna give it a color of white um a font size of let's say 40 pixels and i'll do text transform uppercase so that it's all caps lock and then what I'll do is I'll go to the card and I'll give it a display of flex so that we can center that H1, which stands for heading one, by the way. So a display of flex, which allows us to use the properties justify content um, and set the value to center, which is going to um, basically uh, center it horizontally. And then align items is going to center the H1 vertically. So now it's in the middle. Now, I don't want this to be um, visible when I what I'm just looking at it. So what I want is when I hover over, um, whoops, visibility. When I hover over the card, then I want it to be visible. So I'm gonna give it a visibility of hidden in general. And then over here, I'm actually gonna go after each card, I'm gonna go um, card one, hover. I need the um, H1 or I guess, Actually, should I do does this work let me see if this works real quick no so I don't know maybe it's just h1 right but then what if I want what if it's dot card h1 oh so no it doesn't work dot card h1 what if I want it to be because I know if it's an ID whatever just do h1 okay there so it works um so but actually i want that to be for anything so for all cards i need that to happen so i give it a class of cards so now you can see it'll pop up but now for each so i'm actually going to remove this and just move it up here and then for each thing now i kind of just want like 
the video to pop up. So I'm going to go to videvo.net. I'm going to search up water. I should probably do ocean, but whatever. Ew. I think I'm going to do this. This was so pretty. I'm going to do right click copy video address and then I'm just going to go and this is what sucks. So instead of having to do like background um, video, I wish there was a background video and then I could just do SRC just as I do background URL for an image. But no, I actually have to go into the HTML and I have to set it, use a video tag. Like what is this? Like we are in 2022. There must be something. I'm just not, maybe I'm just not seeing it. There must be something out there that's like, because this is crazy. This is crazy. So SRC, I'm going to put the video link and then in here. I'm going to give it a width of 100% of the card because it should be 100% of the card. And then, but it should also be 100%, right, of the card. Ugh, no it's not. It's so annoying. Okay, but what was I going to say? So, with 100%, um... Oh, auto play loop muted so that it's actually playing. All right. Um, this messes everything up. See how ugly everything is? Did the thing just? I'm so done, bro. Um, this really sucks. So this is doc. I don't even know what to tell you. I don't know how to do this. Um, doc card video. Like what? Okay. So when I hover over card one. And I hover over it. I need the video. Um, visible. To become. Oops. Visibility. To become visible. Um, so in order to have that. I actually need. Dot card. Oh well. I could just do video. And just set visibility. To become hidden in general so it's going to disappear <sighs> okay so that's happening but i don't want it to be in the same maybe the problem is that i kid you not i don't know what the problem okay so i think that there it's two things together but I don't want them to be two things together, like the heading and the picture. I don't want them to be side by side. I want them to be on top of each other. I actually want the video to be in the background. And I want, I don't want it to be an element of the card. I want the video to be in the background, which is what is so irritating. Like, why? Why is this happening? Maybe I could just make the video the card at this point, because literally. Or I can make, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I could put the H1 instead of the card. I could put it actually inside the thing here. <gasps> Wait, do you think the reason the video is in the middle is because I have it as a display of flex? Oh my god. Hold on. Do you think the reason it's in the middle is because I have it as a display of flex? Oh my god, it is. That's why oh wow that's so interesting but i'm assuming this wouldn't work still yeah it wouldn't work but that's interesting that's why it was like 80 pixels like below so okay i understand that part okay good well at least that's one thing i understand um i could do not i still don't know what to do um maybe what i could have done is maybe like uh, have it as a container i don't know bro the video itself what if i give it like a border let me see five pixels white solid okay the video itself you know what? i don't think that's gonna end up working out maybe i can do like another div call it class video container maybe and then kind of end up end it where the video ends which is here so i'm just gonna say video container and then maybe it'll be different that way 
So then I can go over here and be like, okay, video container and give it a border of five pixels by solid. That is still so bad. Okay, what if I give it a height of 100% um, of the card? Would it still work? Yeah, it's still working, but okay. So why can't the video now be 100% of the card? I need it to stretch, bro. Like, it's not stretching. It just moves to the middle. So the video, I guess, needs to be positioned relative to the video container. Okay. How to give video height of my div. One second. You're joking. Ew, what is this? Oh. All right, um, okay. So video class, we have a video. Um, what is this? What is that? I have no idea what this is right here. Um, bottom of video appears underneath this. So it's the background color white testing. Bottom of the video, oh. Um, Video Jumbotron, VG video, background video, so she gave an idea of background video, autoplay, true, loop, true, um, type video, mp4, top, fix, z index, negative one, so it's in, so it goes behind, well, I could do that to, hold on video I need it to be behind what happened to the h1 are you kidding me right now oh so annoying bro oh nope this is still horrible um why just someone someone needs to tell me why is this happening so I need the visit or at least this to have negative one okay but it's not that deep it's literally not that deep i don't understand why it's like this maybe okay maybe instead of this i can go to the h1 wherever it is and just have it as z index I give up. I just I can't do this anymore. I really can't. I'm just so annoyed. Video box is fixed. It will have no relation to your parent div and it will take relative blah blah blah. No, didn't help. Okay, full width video video height. Web APIs. Uh-uh, don't tell me to use an API. I'm not there yet. Aspect radio ratio, not radio, sorry. Come on. Does it have nothing? Examples. So, creates a handler V size. Oh, heck no. I'm not doing. Nope, nope, nope. I'm not there yet. How to make a video fit a div dynamically. Oh, right. So, the video should make sure that its containers remains wide. Just let it copy as much as possible to be responsive. So, the builds are configured. Uh oh. What is this? Video with height, controls, video with height, source, URL, URL title, movie source, how to make it for the screen on the video app. Is this even CSS? Get out. Um, no, that's not really what I want. This is like not what I want. This is so sad. In a world of responsive, one of those things perfect. Yes, exactly. With a height. Yeah, think.
can we just do this? No, apparently. Only if you're using stickers or video that will make the video fit the width of the container. I did that, but like still. Remove the height decoration. When you do this, the aspect ratio of the video is maintained. But it's not even like. It's not. This is not helping. Video, other styles to make responsive. That was a video. So it has a width of 100%. <gasps> no! Is that all I had to do? Give it a height of auto? Automatic? Really? So a width and then a height of auto. Nope, still useless. I'm literally so irritated right now. No, no, no. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Not helpful. Get out of here. I think I'm literally done for today because I can't do this anymore. Um, maybe if I just... Should I keep the video container? It's just not even working right now for me. It's like so messed up, bro. It's like incredibly irritating. I just don't even want to do this right now. Um, I don't know. I just don't. This is so sad. Oops, wrong one. What happened? I didn't even open it. Hmm. I just don't know how to do these. These are just so hard. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. But not today, though. Today, I have other things to do, and it's already 10 p.m., and I really... This was supposed to not be such a big deal. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to end it here. Um, I was successful in doing these. Um, I could do an overlay, though. Yeah, I could. Maybe I could. Maybe do I want to do an overlay? I think I do want to. So, for card one video... Also, when card one hover, I need, where did it go? This background, but with a linear gradient of RGBA 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, whoops, actually yeah, 0 0.7, 0 0.77. And then, I think those are too much, or maybe not, I forgot. I think it's five, right? And then, close that and do another comma. And, it should work. I think I did too much of these. Oh, oh it's the first one. Ugh, I meant to do the second one. So annoying, bro. Literally. Como llama de fuego. So you have that there, and then I'll do the same for. Whoops. For card two. So when I hover over card two, I'm just gonna change the link over here so it doesn't change. Pretty pretty. And then the last one. Card three. Hover. Oops, I don't want this one. I want this one. Put that in there and just copy the link to the actual image so it doesn't, you know, change the image. Just want an overlay. Um, okay, yep, that's what I wanted. Except that the first one is all messed up because of the annoying video. Oh, this is so saddening. It's like it's literally so sad. Like, actually, it's really sad. Um, so I'm just gonna leave it with the borders and everything because this is a mess. And I honestly, oh, I don't know. Oh, I should have left that open. Okay, bye. Have a nice life.